Chris, what is our third main topic today? This one is from Brian Meadow. Hey, the John Campion Show. I just saw a report from The Hollywood Reporter stating that the fourth Star Trek film has lost Matt Shakeman as its director. With the topic on Friday about him in the run for Fantastic Four director, is this a coincidence or could this be further confirmation that either he's directing it or he's much further in talks than we thought? All right, thanks a lot for sending that in. And yeah, ever since we found out Matt Shackman, by the way, you pronounce it Shakeman. Is it Shakeman or Shackman? Oh, I don't know. I, could, I think it's Shackman. Is, is it, it Shackman? Shackman? I honestly don't know, but I'll, I'll go hmm. with Shackman. We'll okay. stick with Shackman for it's now. Chuckman. We talked a couple <laughs> times last week about the reports are out there, the Matt Shackman, and Deadline then followed up with it and said, yeah, Shackman has been meeting with Marvel. No official offer had been made yet, but I have a feeling next week, D23, we're going to see ourselves a Matt Shackman on stage. Uh, they're going to announce it officially, I believe. But anyway... So that's been out there. It looks like he's going to be the director for Fantastic Four. Of course, this guy's got one of the most extensive television directing resumes of big hit show after big hit show, including directing, of course, WandaVision, which done real well for them. Probably still the best thing that Disney Plus has put on. And he's going to be directing Fantastic Four. Well, you know, the laws of physics say you can't be in two places at once. And that meant there was another project that Matt Shackman was supposed to be directing but it looks like he's not directing it anymore, and that is Star Trek IV. This comes to us from the folks over at Joe Blow who write the following. The allure of the Marvel Cinematic Universe is greater than the final frontier. WandaVision director Matt Shackman signed on to direct Star Trek IV last year, but with the recent news that he's in talks to direct the new Fantastic Four movie for Marvel Studios, he's decided to drop out of the Star Trek movie. Matt Shackman is an incredibly talented filmmaker, and we regret the timing didn't align for him to direct our upcoming Star Trek film, Paramount Pictures said in a statement to The Hollywood Reporter. We are grateful for his many contributions, are excited about the creative vision of, of this next chapter, and we look forward to bringing it to audiences all around the world. With Matt Shackman out, the search for a new director will begin immediately, search for Spock, uh, but it's not yet clear if Star Trek IV will still make its December 22nd, 2023 release. Now, a couple little just, uh, you know, detail things here. They had already said that they were gunning to start production and not until the second half of the year, which means if they do get into production by, say, late October, November, they could very well still be right on schedule. Uh, even though, you know, December 2023 sounds ambitious, this technically won't really throw them off too much if they get another director in fairly quickly. It's unfortunate. I would be very curious to see the language in the contract because you can't just say, you can't just sign a contract and say, oh, I don't want to do it anymore. I'm like, oh, okay. There was probably language that his agents put in place in that contract that there are certain things that might be able to supersede it. An offer to direct a Marvel feature film, maybe one of those. And that was probably triggered in the contract. Listen, I thought it was a really interesting choice when they were going to get him to direct a Star Trek four. There have been other directors attached to a Star Trek four that have also been very interesting uh, sounding. It sounded like this time was really on, on pace, but Hey, you get offered to do fantastic four. You get offered to bring fantastic four into the MCU. That's what you do. And it sounds like Paramount understands that it's going to be interesting to see where that goes, but you know, anyway, Matt Shackman steps off Star Trek IV. Rob, let's not pretend you were interested in Star Trek IV. No, no, let me rephrase. Let me rephrase. Let's not pretend you had high expectations for Star Trek IV. But still, Matt Shackman departing, yeah. it's unfortunate. I mean, look, I, obviously Star Trek's my favorite franchise. Yeah. And this particular iteration, this Star Trek IV film, it's gone through people like Noah Hawley. Yeah. There was a female director who was going to, I forget her name, um, uh, there was, you know, talk of the Quentin Tarantino thing. This this movie has gone through more iterations than the Flash. Although the Tarantino before. thing was never going to be this movie. No, right. no, but they've been trying for whatever Star Trek Four was going to be. What bums me out is, to me, this is very indicative of the Trek franchise in that that I would love to see somebody whose mission in life it is to make a great Star Trek movie. Who comes in and says, "Listen, I, I, a, a, a writer director, like in a, another a, somebody like, um, uh, you know, Nicholas Meyer, he was not a particularly, he was not a fan of Star Trek. He didn't know much about Star Trek. He'd done time after time, but he, he, he took a deep dive into Star Trek lore, and he understood that it was all based on kind of Horatio Hornblower, and gave us Star Trek too. I would love to see that happen again. I wish somebody, the fact that this, this is like a project that they just slot, slot people into, and then it." disappears and they have to push it again i mean to me that's kind of indicative of where the franchise is as a whole i mean in terms of 
There are these people that are working on the franchise that aren't particular huge fans of the franchise. It's a job. They'll take the job and be like, yeah, I'll do that. But there's not, I'd love to see, you know, passion behind the Star Trek franchise. And I don't know who that is, but I would just love to see that happen. Because I do, I think this cast is very good. You know, and Chris Pine is, is as long as it's well written. Yeah. He's a great Captain Kirk. You know, and he's he's very charismatic, and and I like this cast a, a a great deal, and I would love to see them get a great movie made. That's isn't that what we all want? I mean, Star Trek Beyond was not what I'd hoped, and I'm a huge fan of Justin Lin, you know, directing the Fast and Furious movies, but I I would love to see Star Trek Four come out and be the best Star Trek movie of this new iteration. Now I I'm a little different from you. I loved Beyond. I, I thought it was the best of the the current iteration. Oh, it, it was, but it uh, didn't I, make a lot of money. No, no, it did not. And I think that had a lot to do with Star Trek Into Darkness that, that a lot of people didn't like so much. But anyway, mm -hmm. you know, Chris, you hear about this. It is unfortunate for Paramount because yeah. like coming off of WandaVision, this was a this could have been a real nice feather in their cap having that, you know, directing mm -hmm. this. It's understandable, though. You get a chance to do Fantastic Four. What do you think of the move? I mean, heck, the cast didn't even know if they were doing this movie, right? Yeah, when so, they first announced it. Right. So getting a director, I feel like that's going to be a whole other issue, too. I mean, it makes sense if there's a scheduling conflict here. I would go with Fantastic Four. If you have the option of doing a Marvel piece like that where you get to be the person who makes that impact of introducing the Fantastic Four, I mean, how could you not take that opportunity? All right, guys. Question is for you. Great. Matt Shagman looks like he's directing Fantastic Four. We'll get the official word this week sometime. Uh, too bad he was going to do a Star Trek Four. He would have been a really interesting guy directing that film. But hey, who do you think might end up being in the director's chair for Star Trek Four? It sounds like they're still moving ahead. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and leave your thoughts there. Guys, we want to take a second to thank the sponsor of this episode, Stamps.com. Guys, you know the holiday season has a way of sneaking up on us, and we are never as prepared as we think we are. And if you're a small business owner, you know how important it is to get ready for the insane holiday season. And even if you just got a lot of family or friends you're going to be shipping stuff to, now's the time to get ready. Luckily for us, Stamps.com has everything you need to make your life a whole lot easier. Because Stamps.com is your one-stop shop for all of your shipping and mailing needs. Get access to the USP and UPS services you need to run your business right from your computer. Because with inflation on the rise, every single dollar counts. Protect your margins with major discounts on USPS and UPS rates up to 86% off. Stamps.com offers a stress-free solution for everyone. Use Stamps.com to print postage wherever you do business. All you need is a computer and a printer. And if you need a package pickup, you can easily schedule it through your Stamps.com dashboard. So get out ahead of the holiday chaos issue. Year. Get started with Stamps.com today. Sign up with the promo code CAMPIA for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and enter the code CAMPIA. 